On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Lizard Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonatus to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. Welcome to episode number 10 of the On Drop Rate series and this is a special one. In the last one we took on Bryophyta and we did lose the challenge of getting the Bryophyta essence, but I have decided that every 10th episode we are going for a pet. And the one I'm going for in this video is going to be assisted by Max Nick right here on his account Berserkers. He is going to be lending me a very kind gift of a twisted bow. And of course I'm not keeping this or anything. This is just to speed up the process. I'm going to be killing 3000 giant moles for the pet. And uh, I already have 1000 KC on this boss. So we're going to be ending at possibly 4000 KC or that I get the pet. And I'm very excited to actually try out the Twisted Bow for the first time ever in Old School RuneScape. Just have a look at that beautiful Twisted Bow. And of course the only reason I'm doing this and taking this loan is because I want to be able to post consistent content for you guys to enjoy. Just having to spend like a, an extra four days doing it with a worse setup is not that great for posting videos. So that is really the only reason why. It's not because I couldn't grind this out myself if I had infinite time. But that is not the case, so hope you guys are fine with it. One of many giant molds about to be killed in this video, and I already had 1004 apparently, so we're going to be ending at 4004 kill count. And uh, that was a very fast kill with a twisted bow. Now let's talk about the money of this boss. The consistency is crazy. Basically every single kill will be guaranteed 25,000 GP because of the mole skins and the mole class that it drops and they have a pretty good value. So from 3,000 kills, if you would go for this pet, the average amount of money that you get is 75 million. That's a lot of money for killing the giant mole, I have to say. On an even kill count right now, and I'm actually going to do the one hour test when I do these longer grinds. I want to see how many kills I can get in one hour, and I have to bank now anyways. And overall, this was uh, 46 kills, and let's see how much value that was actually at. And after that, we will do the one hour test. The claws and the skins itself are over 1 million already. And that did not take that long. I would say probably 40 minutes. So I'm going to assume the kills per hour is going to lay around 60. But let's actually do a one hour test and see what it's actually at. Well, I have to say I am pleasantly surprised. Of course, this was an hour with a very high focus. So this is the absolute maximum amount of kills I can get in one hour, which is not going to be consistent throughout the whole grind. But I did get 80 kills this hour. That is incredibly good, meaning the entire 3000 kill grind could take only 37 and a half hours, but of course that is very unrealistic to keep the focus up for that long. So I'm going to say the grind in its entirety is probably going to be 45 hours around that time, I would say. <gasps> no way! No way! We actually got it! The baby mole, 1495 overall KC for the account and... 488 I think no that can't be right it has to be 490 something because I started on 1004 wow I will put all the loot on the screen right now that we got from this grind it says 488 but I guess it uh, didn't calculate everything but uh, wow I did not expect that honestly I thought I would not get a pet on the entire grind my collection log should be actually completed now on the giant mole, so another green one, let's have a look at that, yes it's green. Of course the claws and the skins are capped at 250, but it is now time to ensure the baby mole. I would never want to lose this, 500,000 coins is nothing, definitely worth it, let's drop it on the ground and let's talk to it. Oh, it gets stuck, alright. Let's talk to the baby mole. Hey mold, how's life on the underground? Well, the last time I was above ground, I was, uh, well, okay. A bunch of chat, I can't read it when uh, I'm recording, it just is uh, something I can't do for some reason. But yeah, 
I love this pet so much. There's actually a skin to this as well, I think, where you can make it into the uh, the pink version of it. I honestly have no idea how to get that though, but uh, yeah, I like the normal one more anyways. Might as well actually show it off. It's really easy. You just use a mole claw on the baby mole and there you go. It is now the pink version of it, the baby, babier version, I guess. Uh, the baby mole rat and if you use a skin on it, it goes back to its normal form. But it's time to give back the Twisted Bow Max Nick let me borrow an amazing weapon and I can't wait to actually borrow this maybe in the future as well. For maybe doing some God Wars dungeon that would be incredible. But uh, the link to his channel will be at the top of the description. He's actually the person I played a group Iron Man with. So we trust each other, it's all good. And uh, thank you again for letting me borrow the Twisted Bow. So what are we going to do now? I've completed the grind already and it was supposed to be a full video length grind but we already got it before 500 KC and you can see all my pets at the top there by the way. But judging by the gear I am equipped with right now you might know what I'm going to be doing. I completed one log with a giant mole and I b bought the crafts bow and I thought to myself can complete another log maybe. Chaos Fanatic. Uh, I do have three Odiums in 200 KC, but I have no Malediction, so I might as well go for that, and that means one in 256 kill counts is the drop rate of the Malediction Shard, and that's how many kills I'm going to do, or get the Malediction Shard and be done with the Collection Log right away. Now, if you did not know, I have a very interesting story with the Chaos Fanatic. Kind of recently, I did a Odium Shard grind on my group Iron Man, and I was telling myself, I'm just going to do it until I get the Odium Shard, because that will complete an Odium Ward for my team, which is a very good range shield. I ended up doing 1,400 kills on an item that has a drop rate 1 in 256 before I got the first Odium Shard. And I will actually put the entire collection log I have on my group Iron Man on the screen right now. And this is after I actually got all the three Odium Shards. So I did 1,400 for the first one and then like 400 more for the second two. But uh, Jesus, that was a big grind. And hopefully I will get lucky this time on the Malediction Shard because I got a lot of Malediction Shards at least from that grind. Ooh, Ancient Staff, that is the first rare item. It's 1 in 128, so basically the same drop rates as getting any of the shards, but not as rare as a specific one. I actually completely forgot about this, and I do want to do some clue scrolls if I can on this grind. I'm buying the Ring of Wealth scroll for only 58k, adding it to the ring and imbuing it. Now, all my chances of getting clue scrolls in the wilderness is doubled. You can see on the screen right now, normally, the Chaos Fanatic has a 1 in 128 chance of dropping a hard clue, but now, after this, a 1 in 64, so we should see some of them. And we get those. <laughs> right after almost I come back. She left half. Now, with the Ring of Wealth, that's not absurdly rare. It's rare, it's one in like 800 or something, but uh, not as bad as if I didn't have the Ring of Wealth, which of course I now have equipped. We have our first peak here, look at that. Uh, 68 kills in, that's not that bad. If I get one peak here every 68 kills, that's fine with me. Just going to TP, he didn't even join me. I'll actually TP back again maybe, and I might get to the right area, and then I'll just log out, because he didn't follow me anyways. All right, let's see, and look out the right area as well. Oh my god, wait, he TP'd at the same time as well? That could have been bad, we could have landed at the same area. Nice, I logged out. Ancient staff number two. Oh, PK number two, let's run, he already has a key as well. Can we get whole world hop? Yes, we did, okay. So we're good, I think. Not died yet, we have not died yet. Let's just jump to another world as well, just in case. Oh, nice! Hard clue scroll number one on 95 kill counts. I was actually kind of lucky here because I did not have the Ring of Wealth imbued before, but I guess half of the time I was. It's kind of on drop rate between that 128 and 64. I think I'm just going to go ahead and open them right away this time. I will add everything up in the end anyways, so let's see what the first hard clue is going to give us. It is uh, the mediocre clues call, I guess. 78, 78, 2. Interesting numbers down there. 217 overall hard clues as well, so we're getting to uh, decent numbers. Are you kidding me, man? Look at the chat. I thought I was recording everything, but I was not. I recorded like a whole 30 second clip getting this item, and I wasn't recording. Thank you so much, game. I love to see it. But now I can actually say 301 KC. We completed it. I'm so disappointed I did not actually get that on video, but uh, it looks great on the ground, I can show it. 
imagine that it's uh, right here dropped by the boss. It looks like that. Beautiful. Worth 1 million GP. Wait, why does it say 400k here and 1 million when it's on the ground? Is it actually like that inaccurate? I guess it is. Let's uh, go and sell it, I guess, and see how it actually is worth. And also we have the collection log. We completed it. Look at that. Another green one. We greened two collection log in just one video. Oh my god, that's very interesting. 1.1 million actively traded price. Let's see if it actually sells for that. I'm gonna do like this. And let's see if it actually sells for this. And it does. It insta sold. So I'm going to assume the reason why is because Raids 3 is coming out pretty soon. And they are going to be releasing a magic weapon. A staff, I think. That has like insane power. On the same level as like a twisted bow or something, but for magic. And I'm assuming that people are buying the Malediction Ward now to get it before it goes up in price too much. But what can I say? A very successful video. I'm surprised I got this lucky on both the pet and the Malediction Shard. Let's have a look at the collection log quickly again. Pet, 3 Odium Shards and the Malediction Shard in 301 KC. Is ridiculously lucky. And also we ended on 1495 KC for the mole. And here is the pet, of course, looking cute as ever. But yeah, we bo won both the challenges in this video. So now when you're watching this video, I'm actually not even at home. I've posted this video to be scheduled, uploaded. Meanwhile, I'm away visiting family for around one and a half to two weeks. So the next video after this one might be a bit delayed. But uh, ending on a pet before taking a small break is, of course, very nice. And I have a nice grind for the next video. A very interesting one, to say the least. I hope you guys will enjoy that one when it eventually comes out. A massive thank you to Edward Bobsled and Gustavo Bro for supporting the channel as members. You can do this as well if you want to for only $3 a month and get some nice badges and a shout out at the end of every video. I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, guys, take care.